So, you want to know what my match results were this year? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Hey loves, it's Carlette and I am back with another video and today I will be telling you guys what my residency match results were. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, but if you don't, I'm here to let you guys know what happened. I matched! Yes! Now that part's out the way. So, I matched to a residency position this year, finally, and so I'm here to talk to you guys about how just the whole thing went and just to share that little bit. So if you follow me on Instagram, like I said, you already know the results because I posted it that day, but I had to make sure that I came and talked to you guys about it just to share a little behind the scenes. Now, I will say I planned to record my first results, I mean like my first reaction when I got the results. It didn't quite work out too well. Because I accidentally saw the results that morning, like it's a long story, but I ended up sleeping in and got the email and then I got another email. And so anyway, kind of found out as soon as I woke up that morning and I didn't get a chance to record the first response. So sorry. But with that, I do want to talk about how weird my response and my reaction was. Like, I didn't really have any emotion. It was like, I looked at the phone and I literally dropped it and just laid there. Because I was still in the bed. I just laid there. Probably about a good 20 minutes. And I think it was because I was just trying to, I don't know. I can't even really give you an answer why my reaction was that way. It was just like I was still trying to process things. It was almost like a surreal, like, is this really happening? I don't know. But I didn't have a whole, you know, shouting, crying. Acting. I just, it was just like, really? <laughs> you know, so with that, I got up and of course I told mom and that's when the river started flowing because she called me and she was crying because what I did was like, I text the screenshot to her and my sister just to kind of like get that first shock factor. And then I was going to call, but she kind of called me before I can even send the message yet. So she called me crying and she's like, is this what I think it is? And I'm like, yeah. So, you know, when somebody else crying, then I'm finna start crying because I'm emotional anyway. So it just all went down after that. But that day, it was an amazing day, of course. And I mean, I'm still kind of think just in shock or it's a little surreal. Like, I still really haven't, I think, really grasped this is for real. This is really happening. And that day, like I said, I was busy trying to pack. I had to go out of town that weekend. I'm just getting back. So, like, all weekend, I just really, I don't think, had time to soak in the reality of what had happened. One thing I do want to discuss, though, is the night before. Now, the crazy thing about it, you know, I talked about kind of the journey and what led me to reapplying again and the whole interview process and all of that. I'll try to link those videos up in the cards so you can check them out if you have not seen them. But that night before, it was, I just had a breakdown. Like, I'm talking about a complete meltdown, crying, tears, tonight, whole nine. It's so nasty. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I really, it, it finally all hit me. I think during the entire process, I kept trying to remain optimistic and, you know, be positive and say, you know, God, I know that you told me to go through with this again. So I know that there's a reason behind it and I'm believing in you for a victory, all of these things. But at the end of the day, no matter how much faith you have, no, much, how much, no matter how much praying you do and reading of the word and fasting and all of this stuff, the enemy will still try his very best to attack you in any way that he can. And he hit me hard that night before. You know, he liked to get you when you by yourself. And, you know, that night, it was late, too. It was probably like 10, 11 o'clock. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I think part of the reason why I had such a weird reaction, to be honest with you, is because I had pretty much convinced myself that it's going to be another year with the same thing. And so I'm not going to even wake up in the morning. I'm not going to wake up early, you know, anticipating just to get my feelings hurt again, to be honest with you. So I slept in. I think I woke up at like 9 o'clock. The point of me sharing this is really just to let you guys know that it is real out here in these streets. Like the closer you get to breakthrough, the more and more the enemy is going to be on your back. So much so that he will convince you and let you talk yourself out of pursuing the things that God is telling you to do. That is why I'm sharing this today because it almost happened to me. You know, like I said, the past videos, I told you the things that led up to me making the decision to reapply again, down to the details of what scripture that I read that gave me the confirmation. 
you know, the decision to go to the um, mid-year meeting in Orlando where the residency conference and stuff is, I almost didn't go. Literally, I mean, I had paid, you know, registered flights. Everything was booked. And I still was about to not go. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this money. I'm going to save this money because I really didn't have it to spend no way. I don't feel like going. Going through this process. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. You know, it's exhausting just to get the same result again. But I had to keep praying to God and say, okay, if this is really what you want me to go forward with, you know, give me the answers. Give me the confirmations and I will. So he did. Found myself in Orlando. Still, while I was there, I still was struggling. Like, why do you have me here? Like, for real. I don't even know what programs I want to apply to. I don't want to be here. And I'm just being transparent with you guys. I don't want to be here. I'm not in the mood for this. Why am I here? You know, and the whole time I just had to keep praying like, God, I know you told me to come. Help me open my eyes to see what it is I need to gain from this experience, whether it be, you know, finding the right residency or meeting someone that can help me in my career in other ways. I had to stay in prayer because every step of the way, honestly, I was about ready to throw in the towel. Came back from me a year. You know, I had a little bit of an idea of what programs I wanted to apply to. I still was on the fence about whether or not I was going to do it down to pretty much the deadlines when it was time for applications to be due. Again, I still had to pray each step of the way. Like, okay, God, these are the programs I'm about to apply to. If that ain't what you want me to do, let a sister know. He kept giving me the go. He kept giving me the green light. Even down to interview time, you know, I told you guys and ended up I only had one interview. So it was only that one that came through. But even that week of interviews, it was, I think my interview was that Friday. I think it was like that Tuesday night and I was up late trying to prepare for an interview. I'm stressing about, you know, just the typical interview type questions. But then we also had what we call clinical questions that are really application based, testing your knowledge in medicine and pharmacy and all of that type of stuff. And like I said, you know, I've been out of school four years now. So a lot of those things aren't as fresh as someone who's just about to graduate. So I had to put in more work to prepare myself. And I was exhausted. I'm two weeks post-op. I'm still on crutches. I'm still having pain. Can't sleep good because it's uncomfortable. Then I'm having to be up late prepping for this interview. And the whole time, I still had doubts. And I'm still like, God, this is really what you want me to do. And, you know, most people will be like, why are you even questioning? As much as you wanted this and as hard as you worked when that opportunity was there, you were still considering not going? Yeah. Because the enemy was getting in my head. It's going to be the same result again. You're going through all of this work and you're going to be disappointed yet again. So why are you even doing this? You're wasting your time. Th that is what was happening. And, I, and I'm sharing this to be transparent because that is how it operates. The closer and closer you get to breakthrough, all of, those, all of that's going to start hitting your brain. And other people may look at you like you're crazy and like, what, you right here at it? This is what you've worked so hard for. And you mean to tell me you're just going to throw it in the towel now? But it is real. I mean, real out here in these streets. Like, to think back on it now that I was even considering not going to that interview, it sounds crazy. But that's where I was, like I said. It's hard, y'all. I mean, the truth about it is, it's hard. You have everything from self-doubt to just the struggles of wondering if this is really what I should be doing. Did God really tell me to do this? Or am I tripping? You know, all of that stuff. But you have to stay rooted in the word. You have to stay in prayer. And you have to surround yourself with people that will be encouraging to you when you don't have it in you to encourage yourself. That's just the truth about it. Because if not, the enemy will talk you out of doing the things that God is telling you to do. And I'm not trying to make this so overly, you know, God this and prayer that and all that. But the truth about it is, if it had not been for him, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be having this video right now. I wouldn't have made it through pharmacy school. I wouldn't have matched uh, last Tuesday. So I'm not going to sit here and have a victory and not give him the honor that's due. So you feel some kind of way about it? Oh, well. But... It ain't nothing but God that made this happen. When I tell you I had one interview, that in itself is, like, ridiculous. Like, you have people who apply to 10, 12, 15 programs, may even interview at about 8, 6 to 8, and they still may not match. I had one. That was the only opportunity that I had, and it came through. Like, the statistics of the number of people who did not get a residency position this year, it's crazy. But I was one of the ones who did. So I'm sharing that, like I said, just to make sure that you are mindful that if God gave you a vision, he gave you instruction to go forward and pursue something, that you have to stay connected to him along the way in prayer. Because the Bible said, pray without ceasing. For me, that means each step of the way you're praying to God to give you instruction, strength, 
direction, whatever it is you need, each step of the way to fulfill and get to where he's telling you, you know, the promise is. Have to stay connected. And so with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys. Just know that, I'm going to be honest with you, there will be plenty of more videos to come that will probably piggyback off of this whole process because I'm realizing that a lot of the struggle that I faced was that God was trying to get me to this place where I'm able to share this on a public platform to encourage other people. You know, our struggles are so far beyond just us. And I'm at the point now where I realize that. So there's so many little intricate details that happen along the way over the course of, you know, four or five years that will really drive home this story. And it'll take time. I'm not going to hit you with one every week because I know some people probably don't care. But it's not so much about the residency program, but it's the story behind, you know, me chasing after God, persevering, you know, all of those things that you can apply to so much other stuff in life. So I will come to you guys for more videos throughout the, you know, next couple of months probably just to share a little bit more that I feel God has placed on my heart that needs to be shared from this journey that he's taken me on. And even the residency process, because it's about to get real, real quick. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and holler at you guys. Follow me on social media. I actually have it in the description box below. I'm going to stop putting the social media in each video for right now because the channel and the social media will be undergoing some rebranding soon. So I don't want to have a lot of videos up with the old stuff and people, you know, run across them later on down the line and they're like, uh, what's she at? So just check the description box because it's going to always have the most updated information on social media, email, where to find me, all that good stuff. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.